Hello everyone, welcome back for more Let's Play Strong Bad's Cool Game. Now, all the stuff we've been doing now has been kind of fluffy. Hasn't really advanced the plot much. And you might be a little bit confused on what you're actually supposed to be doing at this point in time. Well, you can turn on hints or look through a walkthrough, but... In general, you're supposed to kind of gather that, yeah, we can't enter the race ourselves to beat Homestar and ruin his chances, so what we need to do is, well, basically ruin Homestar's reputation. And one way to do that is impersonate him at the race and do really, really poorly. I don't recall if they actually talk about this much, but that's one of the goals we're going to be working for. So anyway... To continue on this path, and, well, the path we really want to, you know what I mean. To continue on the path of actually advancing the plot will involve a little bit of intuition from our part, on my part. But since I've already played the game, that's easy enough. But we might as well follow up on that Snake Boxer 5 manual. Because that will come to it. Because we're almost done hunting down part of the manual, part of this manual that we're looking for. And boy, I couldn't have phrased any of this if any more awkwardly if I'd had away, to. I might have to put him down. A little bird with a baseball bat head tells me you've got my Snake Boxer Five manual. Is that what that was? I was using it to scrub my. No, oh, shut up! Shut up! But then I sold it to Bubs so he could scour his... Ah, I've heard enough! So we need to go back to Bubs. Come on, man! Rules are rules at the end of the race. So we still can't get in. As I said. Hey, you! With the face! Bubs! Strong man! Please tell me you've got my Snake Boxer 5 manual. Snake what now? <laughs> oh, Snake Boxer 5. Here you go. It's the first page of my long lost Snake Boxer 5 manual, detailing, in five sentences, the complex backstory of Snake Boxers 1 through 4. Yay, rank up. And another thing I've kind of neglected that we kind of need to actually do is go back and check his email. You remember he got that email, you know, right at the very, near the very beginning of the game. Yeah, we need to go check that again. Because that is kind of important plot-wise for us. Whoops. Come on, get back up there. I'm checking emails 36. from awesome to awesome. And now I have three emails. Dear Mr. Bat, my brother and I were wondering whose head is bigger. Yours or Homestar's? Quizzically, Jay and Jim Rosen, Brooklyn, New York. Hmm, that's a good question. I should go do some field research. Dear Mr. Strang L. Bod, are you feeling athletically inadequate? Is your six pack more of a pony keg? Do your muscles have less definition than a first grader's dictionary? Then why not get on the Adonis train with a crate of total load, total body fitness energy enhancement powder? Totally safe, totally organic, totally awesome. Hey, this stuff sounds great. Dear Total Load Peoples, thank you so much for your kind offer. Although I personally am endowed with bulging biceps that have been described as bad boys, pipes, guns, and thunder bludgeons, it never hurts to get a heroically chiseled leg up on the competition. Please send me a free sample of your wonderful product immediately. Great flavor. Yours truly, Strongman. Thunder bludgeon. Don't brag and boast. Just put a little email all on your toast. I probably can't get another free sample. Nope, probably can't. 
Order free sample, blah blah blah, and begin to totally transform your body today. Limit one per customer. So no. But confirmation. Dear Mr. Strang L. Baugh, thank you for your interest in total load, total body energy enhancing powder. A sample jar of total load, total body energy enhancing powder has been sent from our central warehouse to our local distributor, Bob C. Stan. You will be notified by email when your totally awesome jar of total load, total body energy enhancing powder arrives. Thanks you for your interest. Total load, total etc. Incorporated. Bubs distributes total load? Man, he carries everything. Indeed he does. So yeah, that's actually important for us. And just because I'm here. Yeah, I'm definitely tired of that. I'm not, but anyway. We've done what we need to do here. And, let's see. I'm trying to think of the best way to proceed from here. Yeah, let's go back to the track. Like I said, we need a Homestar costume to impersonate him. Even though it's not specifically said anywhere that we need to do this, you got to kind of infer it. Little puzzle solving, just a little. And we need to impersonate Homestar and I got ruin no time his for your race. Shenanigans, strong bad. Oh, shut up. Of course, I couldn't have ordered a better day for a race. That's a big old tub of H2O, just like Mama used to make. So let's see if we can trick Homestar into getting out of his clothes. This is why you want him to shower. I know exactly how to tell you this, man, but you reek. Really? I just took a power shower a few minutes ago. Well, let me check. <laughs> nope, ah, I'm fresh as a biscuit. Sounds like one of those smelt slash delt situations to me. I really think you should take a shower. And I really think you're creepily obsessed with my personal hygiene. Yeah, very insightful of you. However, you're you still not here. that bright. I'll, uh, be somewhere else. Keep striving. Don't delay your dream. Walk from home, earn extra cash. So, yeah. Let's make it so he needs to take a shower. Hey, Homestar, you want to know how to really win the race? How? Onions! Onions? No, really. An old, uh, gypsy track coach told me that the secret to running was using all-natural onion deodorant. Simply rub it all over your bad self and feel the fastiness flow through you. Ooh, those onions glide on smooth and clear. Wow, thanks, strong man. I feel like I could take on the wall. Yeah, <coughs> especially if the world is <coughs> downwind. Phew. So now that he doesn't smell too good... That's Coach Z's trophy case, where all sorts of frightening and obscure achievements are celebrated. We'll be revisiting but... that. Quiet, you! Man, you stink! Not in the metaphorical, you suck kind of way, but in the literal, odors that could peel the paint off a tank kind of way. Seriously, strong man, I find that very unlikely. <laughs> Great Grandma's diapers! I better hit the shower again, Ponto. Yeah, give me a chance to shield my eyes. Whew! If it weren't for my de cheat like reflexes, I would have had Homestar's nethers burned onto the backs of my eyeballs. Huh? I'm used to strong bad singing that. Anyway. One Homestar costume coming up. Let this be a lesson, kids. Always shower with your clothes on, or someone, meaning me, will steal them. So now we leave. Unfortunately, that is not a full Homestar costume. 
No one will ever mistake me for Homestar as long as my jizzled movie star face is sticking out of this smelly shirt. Yeah. So we need to cover up his head. And where can we find a gigantic Homestar head? Well. Come on. Maybe you remember a float. Strong bad, buddy? Oh boy. Whoa, mama! <laughs> That's right. Shears and hedges go together like slow mo and explosions. Hey, I didn't mean to do that. That's a very nice rendering, Strong Bad. Hey, are those my shears? These? Oh no, yours are still in the shop. These are Strong Sad's, but he's off his meds right now, so I took them from him just to be safe. Well, that was very thoughtful of you, Strong Bad. Yeah, well, you know me, Mr. Thoughtful. Yeah. Ooh, a big pile of hedge trimmings. Can't ever have enough of these. Because they're not nailed down. Maybe over here. So, we have a big old Homestar head we could use for a disguise. However, trying to get it while she's right there. What do you think you're doing? Um, giving your Homestar float a much-needed shave? And a haircut? Two bits? Keep those things away from my art. Not gonna work out too well. So let's go away from here. And see if we can trick her into leaving. We have Homestar's phone. So let's see what happens when we call anyone else. Pom 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 pom. Hello there, balloon man. This is Homestar 1 -oh. Please don't beat me too bad. we in the waste to the end of the waste today, okay? Hello, attractive women. You've reached strong bad. If you're not an attractive woman, please hang up the phone. If you are an attractive woman, please purchase a hot tub and some pork rinds and invite me over. See you in your dreams. Hi, Swangbad. This is Homestow. I'm an attractive woman and I bought a hot tub. Come on over. That was more than a little weird. <laughs> Just a little. I'll be for Bugs. Hi, hey, people. Welcome to Bugs Concession Telestadium. For calendars, press 1. For tires, press 8. For supporters, press star. You can't prank a phone tree. Besides, the last time I navigated Bub's Telestand, I wound up with a crate full of rhino horns. And not even the endangered kind. I'm kind of afraid to ask, really. This could be good. Hey there, you've reached the cordless cell phone, and definitely not the public pay phone of Coach Z. Leave me a message after the fat beep. Hello there, Coach. This is Homestyle 1 -oh. I just think you should know that it was me, Homestyle, who's been putting itching powders in your jock strap for the past three years. Well, that should get me off the hook. But the creepy thing is, Coach Z's never actually complained about it. We've got two more people to prank here. Yeah, they're happy. Let's let's see if we've gotten credit for all of them. Yeah, four out of seven. Okay, we are now a rhythmic curler. So map. Let's go now that we've already pranked Bubs. We can go here and hey, finish hey, the prank. Step right up and trade your money for some stuff. That opens up the cheat. Now that we're not at the house, the cheat has a phone. Who knew? <laughs> Hey, 
trying to cheat? This is totally homestyle. Can you come to my house and gnaw my face off? And steal my boombox and leave it at the drop point? Bye! Sometimes I like to get creative with my mission assignments for the cheat. Okay. Now, we have one more number to call. And it is the important one for advancing the plot. Because we need Marzipan to leave her little hidey hole in her, ha in her backyard. So we can saw the head off of that float and use it for disguise. But we'll have to do that next time as I am out of time for this video. So when we return, we advance the plot. Finally! Been a while, hasn't it? Anyway, take care, folks. See you later.